Israel Gaza Iran War News Live Update Rare runoff presidential election in Iran had historically low voter turnout. The runoff pits reformist cardiac surgeon Masoud Pazeshkian against hardline former nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalali. Iran's runoff election has historically low voter turnout of 39.9% because to economic hardship and societal instability. Middle Eastern countries have rejected almost 1 million ballots. The runoff pits reformist cardiac surgeon Masoud Pazeshkian against hardline former nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalali. Two decades ago, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei denounced the U.S. for its disillusioned electorate at Friday prayers. In 2001, Khamenei observed, It is humiliating for a nation to have a 35% or 40% voter turnout, as happens in some of the nations that you witness conducting presidential elections, it is clear that their people do not trust care about, or have hope in their political system. As the Ayatollah said, Iran faces it. Iran enriches uranium to weapons-grade levels, seeks sanctions relief, watchdog. Only 39.9% of Iranians voted last week, forcing a Friday runoff presidential election, the second since 1979. Over 1 million ballots were rejected out of 24.5 million votes indicating that many felt forced to vote but wanted to reject all candidates. After years of Iran's economy plummeting and bloody crackdowns on dissent, including the 2022 death of Masa Amini after her detention by the morality police for not wearing her headscarf, public rage simmers. Iran enriches uranium closer to weapons-grade levels, raising Western tensions. Hardline former nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalali opposes reformist heart surgeon Masoud Pazeshkian, who may require a large turnout to win the presidency. The Pazeshkian supporters predict gloomy times under Jalali. Meanwhile, many doubt their vote matters. I did not vote and I will not, since neither the reformists nor the hardliners repented from Masa and later hardships that young people face, said 23-year-old graphic design student Leila Sayedi. Iran appoints acting president, butcher of Tehran dead. A contender must receive above 50% of the vote to avoid a runoff in Iran. Saturday's results showed 10.4 million votes for Pazeshkian and 9.4 million for Jalali. With 3.3 million, Parliament Speaker Mohammad Bagher Kalabaf placed third, while Shiite cleric Mostafa Pour Mohammadi had over 206,000. Analysts expect most Kalabaf voters, a former Revolutionary Guard general and national police head renowned for student crackdowns and corruption allegations, to vote for Jalali after his endorsement. That puts 58-year-old Jalali, the living martyr for losing a limb in the 1980s Iran-Iraq conflict, in the runoff lead. His obstinate approach to Iran's nuclear program negotiations has raised concerns at home. Former Iranian Information and Communications Technology Minister Mohammad Javad Azari Jaromi, a centrist, contrasted Jalali and Pazeshkian. We will not let Iran succumb to the Taliban, he wrote on X. But even such dire warnings were ineffective. After the June 28 election, many Tehraners told the Associated Press they didn't care. I did not vote as prior presidents failed to fulfill their pledges, said 27-year-old psychology student Ahmad Tahiri. I won't vote this Friday either. Muhammad Ali Robadi, a 43-year-old electronic engineer and father of two, didn't vote because Iranian politicians seemed indifferent to economic concerns. After years of economic difficulties, I have no interest in politics, Robadi remarked but he may vote Friday. Iran's currency exchanged at 32,000 rials to $1 during its 2015 nuclear accord with the world. At 617,000 rials to $1, many have seen their bank accounts, retirement funds, and other holdings devalued by years of depreciation. The record low of 700,000 rials, established after Iran's unprecedented frontal strike on Israel in April, is approaching. Anger over Amini's September 2022 death remains. The UN inspectors blamed Iran's government for the physical aggression that led to her death, sparking months of protests and a security crackdown that killed over 500 people and jailed over 22,000. Less than two years later, Iranian theocrats have resumed their hijab crackdown. The voter participation levels and blank ballots signified a repudiation of regime policies, 
particularly its assault on opponents and women who refuse to comply with regulations demanding full head covering, the New York-based SoFan Center research tank stated Monday, Pazeshkian wrote on X that his government would oppose hijab enforcement and internet bans. A 31-year-old mathematics teacher, Tahirin Amatsi, didn't vote since neither candidate made a firm commitment on those concerns. The AP said that non-voters said their boycott was voluntary. Whether voters listened to Pazeshkian on Friday is uncertain. He has often highlighted The Selfless Farmer, a 1961 narrative presented to practically every Iranian child in school about a farmer who stripped off his shirt and set it ablaze to warn a train about rocks blocking the tracks.